The new release from Kelva Plan is giving seasonal vibes, and I'm here for it. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and there is a brand new release from Kelva Plan. You guys, her teacher planning release is going live this Friday. I think it is April the 12th, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. There are actually two different teacher planners this year. I'm pretty excited about it. I picked the seasonal one because you all know seasonal is going to have my heart all the time. So I have the planner to share. I have her teacher basic sticker book and I have her seasonal teacher sticker book. And I cannot wait to share this with you and show you how you can use the teacher planner, even if you are not a teacher. So if you want to see the flip through of these new products and then some few, sorry, a few tips and tricks on how to make this planner work for you, stay tuned. All right, we are actually going to start with the planner this time. Oh my goodness. So it has all the details. There are, oh my goodness, there's so many great goodies, you guys. Ah, I'm super pumped about the teacher planner and it is in the big size. Look at that. This has got, this is the first time. This is the first time Kelova Plan has released a big size planner. I love a teacher planner in the big size because if in fact you are a teacher, you know that you have all the things. You have to write down all of the things and a big size is perfect for that. So let's check this out. Okay, you have the laminated cover, plastic disc. These are black plastic disc, laminated cover, beautiful stripes on the inside. I love the seasonal. I love the seasonal. Oh, I think it's so cute. So perfect for a teacher planner because of course, you're a teacher like all the seasons. Okay, let's check this out. This is your year, planning a life I love, name page, and then you go straight into it. Very colorful. Here's your calendar. It's going to go through July 2024 through June 2025. So it covers your teaching year, important dates. And then this can help you in a lot of different ways. This could be an overview of some different subjects. This could be a list of classes, lots of different things you could do. And then a note page right here at the beginning. And you go straight into July with that really cute seasonal look. This month, you have birthdays, events, other meetings, things to include. There you go. Oh, I love the color. Okay, here's the other thing I love about this. The fact that it's already colorful, already has this decorative feel, you often don't have time to make this a decorative planner. You're not really working on decorating, you're working on keeping track of what you are using, like what you're doing with it, like what you are planning for teaching. So it's nice that it's already colorful and decorated. Okay, July, you have this month, so maybe some of the main goals, teaching objectives, things like that overall calendar, and then you go into your week. Oh, wow. Okay. It's different. It's different. And I'm here for it. So you have days of the week here at the top, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, lined vertical right here, and then Saturday and Sunday around the side. The thought being that for teachers, you have most of your writing happening during the week, and then Saturday and Sunday, you don't have as many tasks or things going on. Um, so you don't need quite as much writing. Over here, you have some different boxes. So um, you might have this marked as like math, reading, science, social studies, writing, something like that. The different subjects that you are teaching. Um, and then you can make notes on those different subjects. It's a slightly darker line right here. You can see where it like divides up the different boxes. But if you didn't want that, if you just wanted to make like to-do list, things like that, that would work just fine as well. Really bold with all of the font choices. 
I like it. And then important tasks. So there's some different things you can do. If your schedule is rotating during the week, this might be where you have your weekly schedule. Like um, you might be writing 8A, B day, or hey, this is our rotations this week. That might be something that you keep over there. You could also, if you don't need Saturday or Sunday at all, you could cover up those and use those as different blocks as well. If you mainly just need it during the week. Love this. This would be, a, I'm just telling you that this would be a fabulous work calendar, whether you are teaching or not. Um, for me, I would divide this up for like Patreon, filming, social media, um, additional meetings, and um, additional tasks, things like that. Write out all of my lists for the week. Important tasks for me, that would be filming and editing. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday, I don't have as many things that happen on those days. So I would be able to adjust that. Oh, I love it. And it's pretty neutral here on the inside. So the monthly layouts are very decorated and colorful and then neutral. This note page corresponds with the previous month. So this one is like seasonal, all of them. This note page corresponds with this month, if that makes sense, the notes ending. Then you get into August, this month, very cute. Your layout for the month, love that. And then getting into that same weekly layout. Guys, that's a really thoughtful, you can tell. So Heather was a teacher before um, she left to take on her business full time. She was a teacher and she's really passionate about creating planners that work for teachers. I was a teacher um, before I started staying home with my kiddos. I actually taught elementary music. This would have worked really well for me. What I would have done is divide this up even more. So I taught elementary music K through six. So um, that was seven different types of classes each week. So what I probably would have done would have been and divide up some of these boxes even further. Mark kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then mark out what days I was doing what. So this would have been very, very functional for how I um, planned out my lessons. I would have had additional tasks. And then over here, I probably would have done, I probably would have widened these out and used them for other things, but I could have totally used this as a teacher. All right, so that's the basic layout. Let's check out these dividers though. Here's the notes page. Again, this one is meant to coordinate with the August. We get into September, starting to feel all the seasonal feels. Very cute. Love it. Let's check out the month. I like it. All right, let's go into October. Love. How sweet is that? The month view. And then into this next section. Oh, that's very cool. Into November. This one might be a really functional work calendar for me or work planner. I'm going to show you guys how I would set it up for what I do right now for social media planning. November. And we get into December. Oh, look at that. So cute. Love. And again, the dividers are front and back, so you can reuse them. I am a huge fan of that because it just feels less wasteful that way. When you're able to reuse things, it works out so well. Love. Getting into January. Oh, that's cute. I like the January ones. Love that. And there's the look at what that looks like. Very cute. February. Oops, sorry. Let's look at the front of February. Here's the ending page. January. Into February. Oh, I love it. You guys, it's just pretty. It's just, if you love seasonal, seasonal and fun, that is super cute. Look at how that goes. Everything goes so nicely together. Sorry, I'll speed this up. But I like seeing all the colors. I like seeing how she planned it. I like that there's color in here. That's a different feel getting into April. Very cute. May. Fun. And then, sorry, let's look at the monthly calendar for May. May 2025. Oh my gosh, I can't believe 2025. Right around the corner. June. 
fun and bright. So cute. And then you get into grades. Dear students, your grades are not a reflection of your worth. So all right, so you have your grades, progress reports. This would be, probably be the dates of those, the dates of the report cards to kind of check them off. And then you have your grading sheets. Oh, look at the seasonal line right here. That is so fun. Oops, I'm popping all the pages out. Getting too excited. So you get several pages of that. She worked and then a notes page at the end. That is the new seasonal planner. I didn't close some of those pages correctly, so they are unhappy with me. There we go. New seasonal planner from Kelva Plan. That is, guys, it's adorable. It's really functional and you can use it in lots of different ways. And I'll show you one of the ways I would use it as a social media planner in a moment. But let's check out some of the other accessories. All right, you may have seen this in my box as I was taking it out. This is a notepad that coordinates and it is that beautiful seasonal paper. It is front and back. Fabulous. You can just punch this along the side and add these in for extra notes in your planner, which is super cute and fun. I think that is adorable. I love that so much. It's really cute. That's fun and a great accessory to add on or just picking these up to give to a teacher as a present. I think that would be fantastic because this is definitely something a teacher would find useful on their desk. So lined paper notepad. And again, there's a few different um, patterns she has. So I chose the seasonal set. I think there's one that's a little bit more like what she released last year that had all of the school supplies and in that business in it. So that is really helpful and good to know. There are two sticker books that I have right here. Um, and then there's one one more that is the pastel set. This is the teacher basics. So here's all of your labels, observation, science, reading, elective. These are all your standard labels that you're going to use. Oh, I don't know, 14,000 times as a teacher intervention, IEP, A day, B day. That's really important to know. 504. Students will be able to, that's great for um, leaving this behind for a sub. Fantastic. Testing day, report cards. These are just ones that you would use over and over. So it's great to have just at one go-to place to find all of those labels. Training, laminate, band choir, study session. And then we get into some of the basic boxes. So these again are designed to fit in these. So for instance, this, if I took this off, it would fit perfectly in this particular box right here. See how that would work? And that way it would be easy to switch out and cover up just that section if you wanted to highlight something for the day and you didn't necessarily need those lines. So that is fantastic. Then you have two pages of those colors. Then you're going to continue on the rainbow. These skinnier ones up here, those are going to fit down the side on that layout. Love. Then you get into the pastels. So it's going to go with all of the different seasons. You're going to be able to pick and choose what works for you in that season and on that page. Lots of grays and neutrals. Love. And then some of the smaller ones, just different ways to section it off. Maybe you only need part of that. That's actually a really good idea that she only did, that she did the half ones. Just gives you some different opportunities, different ways to organize what is going on in your planner. Geez, if I were a teacher, I feel like I would get a couple of these at least to kind of just have. These are going to fit perfectly with, because I know Heather and how she likes to design, these are going to line up. See how that's going to line up and fit right there absolutely perfectly. That's like remarkable that she thinks of that. I love it. And for real, if you are looking for a present for a teacher, this is, this is it friends. This is fantastic. And of course, her beautiful lettering with all kinds of different holidays that you're going to want to mark in your calendar. Okay. That's super cute. Like I said, if I were still teaching or if I were going to use this planner for pretty much any reason, I know if you're not teach, if you're not using it as a teacher planner, maybe you're not going to use these labels. But for real, just for the boxes alone, 
I might want to pick up multiples of that because that is really helpful. So that is the teacher basic sticker book. Then you get into the seasonal theme. Let's see how this one is a little bit different. All right, that's cute. You're going to have, that's fun, uh, one page of seasonal decorative stickers. Not overwhelming because Heather knows you're not decorating this like crazy. You're doing little bits and pieces here and there. That's cute. Then functional boxes that you can absolutely use. Functional boxes. It's going to be for each month. Yep. Coordinate. So you have a decorative sheet for each month and then functional boxes. More functional boxes. Oh, I love it. I also feel like these stickers coordinate with some of the other seasonal releases. So if you're looking for even more decorative stickers for that particular layout to add in or some more boxes to add in, that that can be really helpful. Halloween. I love this combo for Halloween. It makes me so happy. Getting into November. Look at that turkey cupcake. That's adorable. That's also a fun with that mint green. That's a fun color scheme for Thanksgiving. Getting into Christmas. Cute. January. Absolutely loving it. February, March. It's just a fun seasonal theme. It's fun to be able to celebrate the seasons. It's very cute. April, May, that May one's pretty actually. I really like that. June, And then a few more labels there in the back. Labels, 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 and labels. So again, you may not be using the labels if you're not planning on using it as a teacher planner, but I think the other stickers totally make it worth it. So again, there is this planner and then there is a pastel teacher planner. I'm obsessed with the fact that it is big, which is awesome. I'm super pumped about that. And I am so excited to show you how to use this even if you are not a teacher. So if you want to stick around for a plan with me, stay tuned. Don't forget April the 12th, this releases. I do have an affiliate link down below. You can go ahead and click that affiliate link, bookmark it, use it as your way to get to Kell of a Plan. Helps me out so much when you're able to shop that. All right, let's plan. I find the teacher layout or kind of a modified block layout to be so, so functional. Let me show you how I would set this up for my work calendar. We're just going to go to a week in May and I'm going to get this set up for a typical work week. So what I like about it is the idea that you can compartmentalize different parts of your life or different parts of your job different parts of your fitness routine. It can break apart in lots of different ways, which I think makes it really easy to create a functional layout. I am going to go to the May uh, decorative pages because I think those lemons are adorable. And we're going to mix in a few other stickers. So I said I probably wouldn't need a Saturday or Sunday on my typical work week um, because I try to keep most of my work in between Monday and Friday. I'm not often very successful, but I definitely don't need to write down what needs to happen on Saturday and Sunday. Generally, it's just the things I didn't finish during the week, but I can change those to two other categories of things that I like to track on my weekly planner. Then I'm going to take a couple of these stickers. You can see that they are sized really perfectly for this vertical section. I'm going to add just a little bit of decoration Again, this is probably not something that I would do on a weekly basis, but maybe the first week of the month, kind of setting the tone for the month would be a really fun thing to do. Or if you do like decorating, there's nothing to say you can't add a few decorative stickers here and there in a work 
planner. If it brings you joy, then I think you should do it and worry a little bit less about what you think others think of your particular planner. So I'm going to add a few decorative stickers, including a beautiful corner sticker right there, and then use box stickers to cover some of the other sections. That way I can write the different categories. Like I said, I will be using this for categories of my business. However, there's lots of different parts of our lives that break down into different categories. Perhaps you want to do a kid's schedule on one section and a husband's work schedule, or maybe you're wanting to track fitness. And so you're doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and movement. Perhaps you're wanting to use a layout like this for faith. So you are writing scripture, prayer requests, devotional studies, pages read, things like that. There are lots of different parts that you can track. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. I'm going to put Patreon here at the top. That's usually what I like to address first in my day, then filming and editing things that need to get done on that particular day for filming. Then of course I have different product that releases and different things that need to happen with that product. So I want to have a place to track activities within that portion of my business, social media, certainly a big part of my business. And then I often have additional meetings with companies and coaches. So that is something that I want to keep track of as well. So I have all of those different sections. Then these stickers fit nicely. So for instance, product, I could have a product release on a certain day. That is certainly something I would want to highlight and bring attention to. So the box works really well in that case. I can use these checklists beautifully in the filming and editing section just to check off videos that I'm wanting to get done either on that particular day or that particular week. Perhaps there is a social media reel that I'm doing for a company that I need to post on a particular day. There's all kinds of ways to use these different boxes. Um, I also think this lined vertical layout is really great. If you like an hourly look, then this would work really well for that as well. So you can see how nicely all of these functional boxes fit in and makes it um, just really easy to highlight different things in your week, but also, like I said before, to compartmentalize all the things going on. I love this layout. There are so many ways to use it. I'd love to hear down below. Have you used the teacher layout either as a teacher? Let me know. Or have you used it in a different way? Let me know down below because it's so fun to share some of these different ideas. Don't forget this new release is on April the 12th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. The link is down below. Thanks in advance for shopping that link. It really does help me out so very much. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for your support. We have a fabulous time as a group over on Patreon, a great group of creatives. And this month we are working on organizing our spaces. It's a great month to join. So if you want to find out more, check out the link for Patreon down below. All right, I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.